All finance departments in the world closing their books periodically have their monthly created stress situation. The time pressure is enormous and at the same time the need for absolute quality is there as well. How does your finance department deal with this? Hello, my name is Ruud Horst and I'm a finance consultant of McRoy & Partners. In all companies I worked for as a consultant, the close was a monthly stress situation. I've seen huge meeting rooms being turned into control rooms, hosting all participants to make communication possible. In another company I saw that accountants are not allowed to be ill or on holiday during the first four days of a month because of the close. So it's important, it's even crucial. And it's a predefined red race to the presentation of the figures of the previous month. But the most astonishing thing is that even in large enterprises, the entire set of activities is monitored with a spreadsheet. Well, we all know the issues with version and change management of spreadsheets. Do they take care of sequences between tasks? Where are the completions and the approvals recorded? Spreadsheets for month end processes are error prone, they lack real time execution data, and visualization of results or statuses is hardly possible. In this movie, I will give you some insight in the possibilities of SAP Advanced Financial Closing. In a world where we are allowed shorter time for the close, we have more regulations to be compliant with. We must give more insight on the progress. We need good tooling. As manager responsible for financial cl closing processes, you need to be in full control. Therefore, you need progress information about all tasks that are carried out instantly, regardless whether this is a manual task or an automated one, whether it is a task in country A or country B. And as soon as a task is completed or could not be completed, you want to be informed right away. In case closing activities take place in several systems, you prefer to have one system in which you can see all progress, no matter if the transactions have been recorded in SAP ECC, SAP S for HANA, on-premise or in the cloud. SAP Advanced Financial Closing is a cloud-based system which connects to your transactional system or systems not to replicate data, but to present the status of predefined tasks, like the asset depreciation run, accrual runs, or production order settlement. As a user of advanced financial closing, you need not to worry about logging into the transactional system. All those involved in the closing operation, the GL accountant, asset, AR, or AP accountants, process experts, and their respective managers, work with the same system, each having its own role and each having its own Fiori apps in the advanced financial closing. For the finance manager, who is responsible for the closing cycle, the app Financial Close Overview is an absolute must-have. Using uh, in integrated filtering, you can immediately arrive at the task glitch which is at stake at this very moment and ultimate attention is automatically grabbed by the donut chart in the left top of the screen. The parts of the donut can act as a mean to drive in, to drill down into the tasks that are currently either in progress or in, uh, at risk by means of uh, errors. And doing so, you can also uh, immediately ask for the tasks that are currently in error, for instance because a period was not yet closed or an uh, authorization was not uh, re yet ready. Going further, you could even ask for the details of such task. And you can, if you want to, immediately contact the person who is responsible for it by clicking on the share button and then creating an email and sending it, chasing the person or asking if he or she requires some help. Going further, going further, we even have some indicators about the completion rate, either per company code or per region or per region group. 
like EMEA, Netherlands, North America, whichever groups you would like to have or play countries. With this overview, the finance manager is able to keep control over the entire process from start to finish. Your closing cycles are repeatable processes rather than wheels that need to be reinvented every month. Thus, you want to use and reuse a good set of tasks every month, quarter or year. Before I show you how SAP Advanced Financial Closing deals with task lists, I would like to show the concept behind it. You maintain your task list in a task list template. It contains all tasks, dependencies between tasks, as well as important characteristics for planning. The initial setup of your task list templates can be a bit of work. Fortunately, this is an activity you only have to do once, and SAP supports you doing it. On your backend system, you need task list models. The good news about that is that the recent versions of SAP S4 HANA and all versions of SAP S4 HANA Cloud contain pre-delivered task models. Now, the initial creation of a task list template in Advanced Financial Closing can be done by retrieving all data of a task list model from your backend system into SAP Advanced Financial Closing. Once you have the model complete, you start using it every period that you close by generating a task list for a particular posting period. Creating a task list template is done with the app Define Closing Tasks, usually operated by an SAP finance accounting expert. At first, we have an overview of the already existing task list templates. What I would like to demonstrate is how another one is created. We still have to fill in some of the characteristics like the list ID and the description and we can make a user responsible for the task list template. I choose my colleague Boyd, who is responsible for many of the task list templates and then I fill in the parameters like the factory calendar which is very important for the scheduling of all the tasks later on in the process. I can, do not necessarily have to, assign a ledger to it, as well as an accounting principle and, if necessary, the fiscal year variant, which I choose K4, which is standard delivered by SAP. The time zone is compulsory because, for the sake of the correct timing, we need to know what the time is about. The closing hierarchy type, we can choose between company code or without. When I choose the company code, I immediately get all the active company codes from the backend system. And the backend system is also offering me a model. And the model already contains lots of tasks and their dependencies. Once this has all been retrieved from the system, which is quite fast as you can see, we select the company codes for which we want to make use this task list model. I click on create and then it's done. Once the system has finalized its creation process, it comes back with the company codes for which I created this task list model. After starting up the app process closing tasks, I see the filter bar in the top and I've configured it in such a way that it automatically leads, loads the filters that I would like to have. In this case, all task for 22 and released are active. At the right side, we see the progress made so far uh, of all the tasks with uh, colors indicating whether they are completed without, with warnings or with real errors. By default, it comes up with all the tasks that have been assigned to me as a processing user, but I could also cho choose uh, the, the task for, the, for which I am responsible or even all tasks. That's all up to me. Now, there are four types of tasks as I've uh, indicated, and one of the types is the job, the background job. And we can start jobs ourselves, but we can also wait until they start automatically. And this one here, I would like to 
consider starting it, but before I do that, I would like to know if there are any preceding tasks. Well, let's see if there are dependencies, and I see that there is one. The preliminary settlement for co-products or rework has ended with errors, which means that it is not very useful to start the variance calculation because the preceding job has been cancelled or not completed correctly. So I would like to know what has been going on there and I can click on it and immediately ask if there has anything, what the trouble was. Well, it has been tested twice and the production run then ran into error. Since I am blocked with my work by not having run the preceding job, I would like to get in touch with the person who is responsible for this one. And I know it, it's my colleague Boyd, so I write him an email and ask him if he needs any help or if he doesn't know maybe there is something wrong with one of his uh, tasks, he uh, can uh, get uh, into action and help me going on with my tasks later on. This way the communication between staff working on one closing cycle is very easy. You don't necessarily have to be in a NASA-like control room. It's all efficient via modern tools. Now besides jobs, there are also interactive tasks that need to be performed. Like this one, it's a Fiori app and I want to manage the customer line items. I'm interested in the question, do we have any irregularities in our open items for customers? And I see two lines. One is a negative one, which is in fact an overpayment. And the other one, 144 euros, is not due yet. So I'm happy with the outcome and I close this task, going back to the task list. And now I can immediately put in either checked or completed without errors. I give a comment indicating what my observation was and I press the OK button. Once this has been done, I have both performed my tasks and I have updated my manager who is responsible for the entire closing cycle. There is even more to be revealed about advanced financial closing what I could show you in this movie, like approving tasks and the nice communication options after task completion. As a silver partner of SAP, McCoy is more than happy to get in touch with you, so please reach out to me or one of my colleagues to meet and discuss the possibilities of this wonderful tool for your finance department. Thank you for watching the recorded introduction to Advanced Financial Closing of SAP. This was Ruud Horst from Eindhoven in the Netherlands for McCoy TV.